So hello, hello, hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayyam and welcome back to the channel, right? Today, we're gonna solve this very interesting problem. Best time to buy and sell stocks using the strategy. Uh, this is not very, very difficult problem. I would say this is exactly a medium problem. And if you have solved enough problems, I would rate this. You will be able to solve this problem. I will rate this problem as a medium problem. I would rate out of 6 out of 10. It's a very good problem. It's a medium problem. Okay. Let's quickly read that problem and build the intuition. With that note, let's get started with the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You're given to integer arrays, prices and strategy where prices of I is the price of the given stock. Okay. And strategy of I represent the trading action. They already told us, oh, this is the strategy you have to implement. You don't need to think about anything else. Perfectly fine. Minus one means you have to hold that stock, means that buy that stock. That means you purchase that stock, right? You have to give that price. Zero means you're holding that stock. You're not doing anything. You just keep, oh, waiting. It will grow. It will grow. May increase. It may decrease as well. At the time of selling, you just multiply it by one. That makes sense also, right? Minus one. Multiplying with minus one with that price means buying that stock. Selling means you just multiply with plus one. And zero means you are holding that stock. Cool. You are given an int even integer. Okay? Very, very important. Even integer. K. Okay? And may perform. And your even integer. A, K. Okay. And may perform at most one modification to the strategy. Okay. Means we have a strategy array. Then we can calculate the profit deterministically. Here. We don't need to do anything. Right. Because they already defined what is the profit. Profit is defined as strategy of I into pr uh, prices of I. Right. So this means there is a profit which we can get here without modify anything right now they are saying obviously they have to make a problem statement right they make a problem statement that you are given an integer even integer k and you can do at most one modification to the strategy array what you can do that you can select exactly k very very important not less not less not more exactly k consecutive elements in the strategy select the first k to hold and la select the last k to sell. What they are trying to say is pick. This is a whole prices array. Let's you pick a exactly k sub array. That means k consecutive means sub array. Fix them all with, with zeros and this is ones. That means what can you tell me? This is nothing but what? This is nothing but you just need to calculate the prefix sum of prices here. This is the intuition you have to build like this prefix sum of prices. After reading the problem statement, I got this intuition So prices sum from here. Okay. And this is fine. You already understood the profit. Obviously, you want the maximum possible profit. Can you achieve it? And there's no constraint on budget. That is very, very important. That means this is not a stock market problem. You just need to consider this thing that, okay, don't need to worry about buy, sell. Let's say a stock is there. It is sell two times two times it is sold so you don't need to think about whether you have to buy that stock no need to worry they i just don't know why they maintain that and meme that to a stock problem because it is not at all required i hope you're getting it right just consider everything just multiply with everything and you have to do this sum this strategy of i stra uh, strategy of i into price of i that is the most important thing you have to do Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Cool. After seeing this, obviously, what we have to do, we have to see the constraints. Constraints say n is 10 power 5. We want a linear time complexity. K is also 10 power 5 range. Means we want a linear time complexity. Okay. So, after seeing this, what things gets to your mind? Mm, Sayam, what we are thinking initially is, you told one thing to correctly. That what is means is, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. That means what? That half the part is not useful because this is not at all required because these are hold. And the other part is sell part where we have considered all ones. That means just we can calculate the prefix sum of the prices here. Hmm. The thing is, we have to do it optimally. Whenever you get a K length, which is exactly K length, obviously you get a feel of sliding window also. The sliding window is also coming into our mind. Okay, Sayam. Prefix sums is also coming into our mind. So, we are getting two intuitions, prefix sums and sliding windows. One answer we will already get without applying any strategy. Let's say, obviously, we have to store the maximum. Let's say I have stored that thing into the maxi thing. Maxi is the initial thing, whatever we got without applying any strategy. 
now we have to apply a strategy so interestingly what we have to do we have to take all k length sub arrays and we will slide them one by one this like this k length and k length and we will keep doing that there are two parts of this problem that calculating the contribution from this sub array contribution from k length sub array k length sub array and other thing which we have to consider is plus remaining part remaining part is anything changed there no sayam nothing is changed there can you calculate that efficiently because what we need to calculate for that the same thing the same summation but for the two parts why because when you have a complete array and what happens is you pick a sub array let's say you pick a sub array like this what happens is you break down into two parts this is let's say left part and this is the right part you can say that this remain intact they didn't changes so what we want can we calculate them efficiently because we have to slide the window also that will take the overall complexity linearly there itself so we cannot calculate them again and again we have to pre compute them pre compute it right can we do something there? again we can use the idea of prefix sums here okay same but how we can do that here to i understood that what we need to do you can just calculate the sum of this part this we can do that why the sub array is from where to where the sub array is this is what this let's say is ith index i am assuming i this is i minus k plus 1 index okay this is zero index and this is let's say n index i am talking about one base indexing for ease of simplicity okay so what we have to do somehow if we make two prefixes one prefix is one for prices only like take the price prefix why because here we require that this is the prices thing right directly because we don't need no strategy require all are ones till i minus k by 2 plus 1 to i minus i right here this index is what this is you can say that i minus k by 2 plus 1 this is the index right so prices only for this and second is required for the summation wala right strategy of i into prices of that prefix is also required why for the remaining part for the remaining part we require and this two prefixes you have then you can calculate your answer very easily how right let's try to see firstly how you can calculate from here here so it is very simple let's say i just name this as prefix on this i name as prefix profit fix profit so our answer one answer you can say contribution can be come from two parts the first part is this which is equals to prefix of i minus prefix of i minus k by 2 right because we have to include from i minus k by 2 plus 1 to i and another part comes from the answer which is equals to you can start and it is equals to this and plus equals to here the remaining part now we have to remove this complete contribution of this k length sub array right so what you going to do total sum which is nothing but prefix profit profit of n which is the complete sum of the prefix profit minus you going to remove the contribution of this k length sub array how you can do that it is very simple prefix profit of i minus prefix profit profit of i minus k right this is included in this and this is the overall idea this is the total answer you are like getting for now what you going to do you just going to slide the window again and again every i is changing and then you just maximize your answer maxi equals to what max of maxi comma answer it's very easy to visualize it's not very difficult to visualize as also right and then what you going to do you going to start your i from k and go till n and keep iterating and keep making at maximum and finally return the sum right if i just take an example also let's say let me just take the example what we have gone in the lead code itself let's try to see that so 
we get this thing right uh, 4 to 8 let me just pick it for you yeah so we got this example so what is the idea here see if you don't do anything what is the maximum profit you are getting the profit you are getting is 4 minus 4 plus 0 plus what 8 into 1 which is equals to what 8 into 4 which is 4 the profit you are getting if you don't do anything now what you can do you can pick this and change it now what you can do that so it will become 0 1 so 4 will be nullified and 2 will become contribution will become 1 and 8 is also there so 2 into 1 plus 8 into 1 to already there plus 0 because 4 contribution becomes 0 this is 10 profit and or you can pick this sub array also you can make 0 1 and this remains the intact so 4 contribution remains minus 1 plus 0 into 2 plus 1 into 8 which is equal to minus 4 which is 4 which we won't require right that is again maximum is 10 so what we're gonna do is nothing we just initialize this is our window we cannot keep sliding this keep sliding this keep sliding this every k2 lens are barren whatever answer we will got that will be the maximum answer right let me just quickly show you the code also which will help you understand better so see what we did we make two prefixes one prefix i already told you for the actual prices part and this prefix profit is include the strategy part also so we initialize maxi also because maxi is the initial thing without any applying any strategy so we got maxi plus equals to what private summation of that also we are calculating the prefix profit uh, prefix of the profits and prefix of the prices also so here we include only the prices and taking the prefix here only we taking the prices into strategy and taking the prefix right and then finally what we need to know this is our window like we are standing with starting from k to n and we are at i index right then we are taking this like at this window i minus k plus 1 to k window right plus 1 is important right so it's not k sorry it's i my bad i minus k plus 1 i minus k plus 1 to i is the window length okay this is our window then what are you gonna do firstly we just take the contribution of the remaining part what is the remaining part the right the left part of this and the right part of this so technically just remove the contribution from the profit prefix profit area of this k length sub array itself completely total minus the k length contribution what we removed and then finally what we have to do we have to take the uh, contribution from the prefix k length sub array also right so half the length is unnecessary is just neglected by because all are zeros this is important this is important right this is important because all are ones so you just need to take the prefix of not the strategy wala thing all prices right so all consider one so just take the prefix minus prefix i minus k by 2 we did that and then finally we just take the maximum and return the maximum i hope you, yes, you understood the entire solution the entire thought process it's very simple and then i hope you learn something new out of it if you learn it please like the video and subscribe to the channel we'll see you in the next video then till then keep learning goodbye